Well, there are a lot of schools kicking off their spring break next week, which means many parents who might not already have plans are probably scrambling for last minute ideas. Well, right now, this morning, I'm joined by our education expert, Jennifer Brinker from Greenwood Middle School. And she's gonna share some ideas at every price point for some spring break educational fun. First thing, Ms. Brinker, how are you feeling this morning? You doing good? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you being here. And so I guess the first thing is, you know, what are some ideas that parents who need to fill the time with some learning, but don't necessarily want to break that bank account? Absolutely. Well, the good news, Matthew, is that there are tons of activities that don't cost a dime um, that are wonderful and educational for kids. You know, I'd say if we have some nice weather, head outside for a nature walk. You can go online, find some scavenger hunts, go to a local park or even your own backyard see how many different plants you can identify. You can go to the dollar store and maybe get some sidewalk chalk, have art class outside. Your kids will enjoy it. Your neighbors will enjoy that. Um, when it's not such great weather, which we know Indiana spring break, you can have a little of that too. Um, build some forts inside, have a movie marathon, pause the movie, ask them comprehension questions. Like, what do you think the character is gonna do next? Or why do you think this character responded that way? All of that includes education and learning. And the last one I'll say that's totally free, March Madness time is upon us. So it's a fun thing to do with your kiddos. Print out some brackets, fill those out together, watch some games. But while you do that, research those different colleges and universities and talk to your kids elementary up through high school about options for college as well. So there are a lot of learning is all around you. There are always opportunities there. No, I think that's great. And, and I've heard Indiana is the uh, basketball state. So <laughs> I'm sure everyone will love to be watching some uh, March Madness. And I guess kind of talk about, you know, what if some parents want to shell out a little bit of money, but don't necessarily want to head out of town? Well, we are very lucky in Indianapolis. There are some wonderful museums, um, the Indianapolis Zoo. There are all kinds of activities like that that you can do to plan an entire day with your child. I would suggest before you go, if you really wanna get them excited, pull up the websites the day before, check out a map of the zoo or the children's museum, figure out what exhibits they would most like to see because sometimes those places get kind of packed during break. So you have to prioritize um, make snacks for the day when you go, um, anything to get them excited about it. But we're lucky we have a lot of great stuff right here in Indy. Any other final advice for, you know, parents who might be watching? Yeah, just keep in mind, like I said, education, it's all around you. The kids want to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Um, as long as you're engaging with them, spending time with them, things even like cooking together or playing games together, those are all educational activities and will you know, give your kids memories for uh, years and years to come. Sounds good. Well, you heard it right there, folks. We appreciate all the wonderful suggestions, Ms. Brinker, and we thank you for joining us this morning. And if you missed this, you can also catch this on our website at WTHR.com. And we'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. <laughs>